So essentially the project was um, to build a bridge um, that could withstand both a static distributed load as well as a dynamic load of a moving car. We're using spaghetti which is not that strong and yeah it's quite a challenge. <laughs> we had about 336 students from mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, mechatronic engineering and automotive engineering students. In the group we had to basically go and research different types of bridges that are out there so truss beam bridges, arch bridges, suspension bridges, and work out what types were applicable to spaghetti design. It actually took a lot of deliberation and research, and everyone had to bring their own ideas. First of all, it was just really trial and error. We just kind of came up with a really simple idea. Yeah, we just trialled one design, and it turned out it worked for us. So we've just continued using that one ever since. So students learning how they can actually optimize their design, their solution, in order to achieve specific objectives. You're sort of given the task at the start and you have no idea how to go about it, and you go through bit by bit and it slowly sort of reveals how to build the proper bridge. Because my first year at uni, I didn't know anyone, and through this project I've been able to meet so many people that I probably wouldn't have come across. I think this project was an opportunity for them to actually build a study group and continue working as a group on their assignments. It's been challenging at times, but I think the group's really pulled together and it's worked well. Doing an engineering subject, uh, there's a lot of maths and uh, physics involved, so it was really enjoyable to uh, get into the lab and actually put it into practice. I mean, I love mechanics, so of course, trying to figure everything out, which way could be better, could, could we reduce the weight here, could we, which stresses more, it's like, it's, the whole process is so interesting.